All right, guys, it's Bob here, and it is iPhone 6 case time again. Right. I've got one here from you, like, called the Protector. So that's how it comes. Plain old plastic bag. Tells you, you know, not to chuck it in with your babies and your children. Don't want to suffocate them. And basically lift it straight out of the bag. And out of this little styrene case. Let's have a look and see what we get. Right, so we get the usual stuff from ULAC. Get your screen protector, branded cloth and squeegee to fit it. Don't need to fit one to this phone, it's already got one. Although fitted a little late of course. Da, da, da. Little uh, stylus. Always nice to get them. I'm not a lover of them myself, but it's always nice to get them. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't bother keeping them. I know the, the wife's got a drawer full of them. And this is what you get. So as you can see, it is very, very similar to the Otterbox Defender. So if we unclip that from there, so you've got that belt clip there and fully rotatable so you can put it into whichever orientation you want it. So I'm not sure if you could maybe actually use that as a stand. I think that's the whole idea of it, to be honest, guys. Um, I've not seen anything about it, but I'm guessing that that's what that's for. So you can actually fasten the clip open, put it in a standing position. You can watch a movie or something on, uh, on the table with it or something like that. So anyway, let's put that bit aside and get down to the actual case. So we've got this bit here. Now that is a stand. Uh, and I do know that that's a stand. And I'm not quite sure which way it's supposed to really sort of stand it or whether it's just supposed to give it a very sort of low angle, which would make a bit of sense actually that that gives you a nice low angle that you could sit at a table. I mean, I'm at the right height now to actually sit and view a video on there you know, or even possibly play a game if I wanted to rest it down. Sometimes there are some games where uh, resting it on a table would uh, be very helpful, really. So as you can see, you've got the ULAC branding through there as well. So that rotates all around the place and just goes back in like that. So pretty straightforward. If we take that rubber shell off the outer. Ah, ah, those ones don't clip it down this time. Right, OK. Uh, the, the, the last case I did, I can't remember which case it was called now, but the last one in one of my previous videos, I did a ULAC case and it had like these little nobbles on here, but they were actually a, like a thumb clip. You, you unclipped part of the case there, but this one obviously uh, it doesn't. It just uh, sort of pulls apart basically. Yeah, okay then. So let's get it in. So there's no, there's no lining or anything like that. So, you know, those of you that are a bit shy of that sort of thing, I mean, it's, it's smooth. It's not going to cause any damage. And bang that back together there. Now it, it gives more of a, the other ULAC one I did left this bottom part open. This one doesn't however. And the only real difference between this and the Defender, uh, the, the Otterbox Defender is the fact that this has got a like a full on um, open face there. Whereas the, the Defender is, uh, has, is like, a, it's, I think it's classed as a fully waterproof one actually pretty sure it is. I can't really remember for sure, but I'm sure the Defender is actually a waterproof case. So it has a fully sealed in front shell, um, which obviously helps more against water and stuff like that. Obviously this is going to protect against uh, a bit of water splashing and what have you, but, and you know, more than the bare phone itself, but uh, obviously it's not waterproof. But it's definitely going to uh, save your phone if you uh, like to go out sort of backpacking, hiking, you know, rambling, mountain biking, anything like that really. It's, uh, so once we get all that seam all pushed in around there, you've just got like a little seam that you're just pushing around the edges and push all those little knobbly bits in. And there it goes, adds a fair bit of bulk, looks nice in the black. I do like it in the black actually. Uh, very grippy, there's no way you're gonna drop that if you drop that, then there's something wrong with your hands, as far as I'm concerned. But plenty of space there, so you're not going to have any problems with the uh, camera or, you know, uh, taking pictures, anything like that. You're not going to get any flashback. At the bottom here, uh, this time, it's obviously it's left open for speaker there, uh, left open for microphone, but you actually, if you want to be in any of the ports, you have to fully open that end. 
so you've got a nice wide opening once you get underneath that rubber flap there guys so moving along here if we move that you've got access to your rocker switch there and let's just see how they go yeah they're absolutely fine absolutely fine nothing nothing uh, to report on there at all there's there's no added resistance whatsoever i mean they're just so tactile and you know they're, they're easy to locate as well you know you, you can see they've got the nice little sort of knobbly bits there all in exactly the right place you've got your plus and your minus and then open that up and i can actually get my thumb into there which is unusual with these sort of cases i I can normally, um, I'm normally down to using my little finger or, you know, something like that. I'm not a user of holster cases. That isn't going to fall out of there. Plenty, plenty strong enough. I mean, that clip's absolutely solid. And that's obviously what these bits are for on here. You know, they are to bite into, there's a little nub on the inside of the clip there. And that is what clips in, you know. Um, it's just, you know. That's it guys, it, it feels really quite rock solid. If that, fully as it is, dropped off my trouser, sort of, you know, off my belt or anything like that, I wouldn't be worried about it getting injured, to be honest. So, yeah, not waterproof guys, but uh, there you go. The ULAC protector. So, drop your comments underneath, check the links out below, and you will find that they are a surprisingly good price and I will catch you all in the next one. Okay, cheers guys, see ya.